Hi, uh, this is part three of the video series which I have made about shyness. If you haven't seen part one and part two, definitely go and see part one and part two. Links I have given here. Shyness, shyness is one of uh, such emotional problems which we have, which keeps us limited, which just keeps us inside the room. It's like a rainy day. We can't go outside. We are, we have just got stuck inside our mind. We don't go and open up and it's very frustrating uh, it stops you from socializing it stops you from communicating from growing and it robs you uh, your happiness i understand that and this is the reason why i have made this three parts series of uh, shyness in this part three i will tell you one very interesting method to overcome your shyness i'm sure that this method will help you to come out of your comfort zone to open up and to talk to people usually you don't talk too much uh, this, this is a very practical way. Uh, uh, I'm going to combine English and psychology together so that it will be more effective. All right, friends. So let's start. Okay, so shyness, as I said, one of the reasons for shyness is this effect. We can call it as the spotlight fallacy. Spotlight fallacy means what? People who are shy, they always feel that the spotlight is on them. Like they are, they are performing on the stage and all the audience is looking at them expecting to give a best performance and to rock the audience. They always feel like everyone is looking at them, staring at them. So they pressurize themselves to perform. They don't speak. They are just trying to impress everyone by speaking something interesting, something which is very riveting, something which is uh, something different from others because they feel like the spotlight is on them. Now what happens is, of course, you get pressurized. A natural communication doesn't happen. You are not speaking naturally, spontaneously. You pressurize yourself and then you feel more stressed and then you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm shy and I will not speak. To come out of this, we have to try to speak something interesting. This we have to give up first. If you want to overcome this, give up. I want to try something interesting. Give up this. You are not required to speak anything interesting. Then what you have to do? Yeah, you have to do one thing. You have to change the spotlight. You have to change the spotlight. Like imagine, move the spotlight from you and to that person with whom you are speaking. What happens? All the spotlight goes on him and you become calm, composed and relaxed. How to do that? Well, I'll tell you. Here, the tip is ask that person questions. People love to talk about themselves. If you ask them, see, understand one thing. People like those who are good listeners. And what do we do is we try to impress others by speaking. We think that they will be impressed when I speak and when they listen to me. It's not like that. People get impressed if you are a good listener. And when they feel like, wow, this guy is very nice, then they will ask about you. Then you speak. But you don't go and start the communication talking about yourself. I'm this and I'm that and I'm fascinating or all. Not required to do that. You can just start the communication and you can say, for example, you can say, what do you do for a living or what is your profession? And then the person will speak, oh, I, I do this for a living and uh, I work in that organization. Now the spotlight is on that person. Now he is going to speak. You listen very carefully. Listen carefully. Listen emphatically. Empathy must be there. You must be focused while listening. Listen attentively. And show genuine interest in that person. You can go ahead and take the conversation to the next level by asking him, can you tell me more about that? It's really fascinating. The work you are doing is really interesting. Can you tell me more about that? He will talk more about that. What you are doing is, you are just a spectator. And he is the audience now. The tables are changed. Now the spotlight is on him. Slowly, he will open up. He will feel comfortable. He will like you because you are asking him questions and you are listening to him with interests. And of course, ask, if the person is new, ask only professional questions. Don't go into his personal life. In this way, you can overcome shyness. Of course, you have to go 
and try with this. Watching this video is not going to help you or sort out your problems. Before that, you can practice this. Practice this technique uh, with your family members, with your friends. Be comfortable and then go and try this with someone whom you don't know or someone whom you know very less in your office. And then see, your shyness will slowly evaporate. You will come out. You will feel better about yourself. You will be more outgoing. You will, you will mix, you will, you know, mingle with more people. <laughs> and then you will feel good about yourself. Step by step, you will be more outward. You will be more involved in social conversations. It really works. But remember, as I said, without action, only watching the video is not going to solve your problems. Believe me, remember, shyness is not by birth. It is due to some social events, due to childhood incidences, or, or due to some unrealistic or uh, faulty thinking system which we have. That, if you can change, you can change everything. So, go and try with this method and my best wishes to overcome your shyness. I'm sure you're going to overcome this. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.